On this part of the tutorial, I will be explaining about materials for Radiant Pro Render plugin for Blender. For the materials, Pro Render works with principal BSDF, but I would most likely recommend using RPR Uber for advanced adjustment. Instead of creating a new node from Add, you can click on Convert Principal to Uber, which will convert your current principal BF to RPR Uber. Although, there will be a need of adjustment to match the original material. On Uber material, they are simple to use and not that much different from principal BSDF. You may notice that you may not see adjustment for refraction, subsurface, transparency, etc. You can click on any of the buttons above to load the layer. So, if you want to use Refraction, click on the Refraction button, and then there will be parameters to adjust for Refraction. So, on this part, I will now explain about the parameters. What is where how strong this part of the layer has to be? So, if you don't want strong reflection, you can lower from the reflection weight. Roughness is where it defines the surface reflection. If it's zero, it will be reflected like a mirror. If you set them higher, then it will become a specular highlight, or it becomes a matte. Uber material has two types of reflection, which is IOR and metalness. If metalness is higher, reflection color will overwrite the base color layer. So, if you want to keep the base color while having a high mellowness, change the reflection color same as the base color. We will now look into the texture workflow. The workflow here will not change from the casual workflow. You can drag and drop the texture and connect to the node to create your material. For normals or bump map, Create a normal map or bump node and connect with RPR Uber material. After that, connect the texture to normal map node. For a normal map, change the color space to raw. If you have high metalness, they focus on reflection color and not the diffuse color. So connect the diffuse texture inside the reflection color. I will now explain about subsurface. By just clicking on subsurface on Uber material, you will get subsurface scattering easily. Right now the color is not matching the scattering color and the weight is too strong. First, change the subsurface radius to the same value. By setting to 1, you can get proper scattering color. By making subsurface radius higher, subsurface will be stronger, and if you make it lower, it will be weaker. I will explain about the lighting on the next tutorial, but for subsurface adjustment, I recommend setting up a sun lighting instead of environment lighting to see some difference. If you have subsurface texture, connect your texture on subsurface color. For your final part, let's look at emission. This part, this is part of lighting you can use to emit geometry and use them as a lighting. This will be good use for things such as LED neon signs or light bulbs. First, enable emission from Uber material by changing intensity. You can make the lighting stronger or lower. You can also adjust the emission weight lower to show some reflection and they will become closer to photorealism. That will be all for this part of the tutorial. In the next part of the tutorial, we will be looking at lighting.